All right, just into the newsroom, the Seattle Kraken making headlines this morning, announcing a new assistant general manager. Alexandra Mandriki has been promoted from director of hockey strategy and research to become just the third woman in NHL history to be elevated to assistant GM, working alongside Kraken GM Ron Francis. We got to sit down with her yesterday to learn more about what she brings to the franchise. I think it just says, you know, the game is going in a different or just an, an enhanced direction um, that you don't have to be limited by your gender or background to have an impact uh, on the game. Cross ice, Chalotsky at the line. Now Kuhlman, now Gord. He scores! You didn't really grow up a hockey fan. From what I understand, you sort of became familiar with the game during your time at Georgia Tech. You were studying engineering. Uh, what was it about hockey that drew you and what point did you realize that this was potentially a career path for you? I wasn't a hockey fan, but I was always a sports fan. And uh, we actually were doing in a statistics class working with baseball stati statistics. And I thought in my head, like, does this data exist for hockey? Uh, and so I just started Googling on the internet and ended up stumbling upon sort of this hockey analytics movement that, you know, I'd seen the movie Moneyball and I was like, oh, it's basically money puck. Uh, and that's how I got going and data with the game. That's what we're looking for. We're three ball about. players, three ball players whose average OBP is 364. How does data analysis inform the personnel decisions and the play on the ice for this franchise? I think it all comes down to having a conversation. Like you can have the most beautiful spreadsheet, but at the end of the day, if Ron is coming to us with the question of, you know, is this a player that we should try to trade for? Uh, is this a line that should be playing together on the ice? Um, even though our sort of argument may be based in data, at the end of the day, usually people are just looking for yes or no. And that's what we try to boil it down to. Well, training camp continues for the Kraken as they prepare for the preseason opener on September 26th.